Hi, I'm Saman Mirzayan, a student attorney with UW-Madison's Law and Entrepreneurship Clinic. I'd like to welcome you to the Small Business Development Center's Entrepreneurial How-To Video Series. Today I'm going to answer some questions you might have about employment agreements and employee handbooks. Question 1. What is an employment agreement? An employment agreement is a contract between an employee and an employer that sets out the rights, responsibilities, and obligations of both parties during the employment period. It generally includes an employee's salary, benefits, and time off, and often contains provisions on information confidentiality, intellectual property ownership, and possibly future competition. Question two, should I have employment agreements for my employees? That depends. Most employees are not covered by employment agreements. Let's look at an example. A family bakery is built around your grandmother's secret recipes. It is a wildly popular spot, so you decide to expand your business by opening an online store. You hire two employees to help expand baking capacity. They will need access to your grandmother's recipes while at the same time, you want them to develop original, unique offerings for the online business. In this case, an employment agreement would be recommended that would include provisions on confidentiality of the recipes and ownership of the new offerings that are developed. On the other hand, you hire two other employees to box and ship products. They will not have access to the recipes. They will simply be putting the products in the boxes. An employment contract would not be necessary or critical. Question three, how do employees without contracts know the rules of employment? That is where an employee handbook would be useful. An employee handbook outlines a company's history and culture, sets out legal employment requirements, and defines a company's policies and procedures. There are no legal requirements that you have an employee handbook. However, having one provides a clear message that your company is consistent and clear policies for all your employees. Question four, how would I put a handbook into practice? To get the most benefit out of your handbook, you want to make sure your employees are familiar with it. You should have each employee acknowledge receipt of the handbook and that they have read and understood the contents. Now that you've gotten a good introduction on employment agreements and handbooks, check out the rest of the SBDC Entrepreneurial How-To Video Series to help you build your business.